is a really a valuable community asset. People come here, meet their eggs, and I mean, come and meet their neighbours. There's a lot of regulars who come in. Three quarters of the people who come in here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know them at all. Never see them if, I, if they didn't come in here. I just wish I didn't get, have to get knocked down because I really like it and it's been here for a long time. St Martin's Parish Hall has stood strong since 1958, but the people of Fulwood have been delivered some devastating news. Their parish hall is being knocked down. November 11th in the afternoon, there was a public meeting for all people concerned about the redevelopment of Parish Hall. Street down, I did street down. Because the vicar can't pay for it. No, I don't know why it's getting knocked down. They did it in this like church, but I completely ignored it and playing on my phone. Well, when, when I first heard the news, um, I, I was in church that morning, I spoke to one of the ladies who was on the PCC and she said, oh, the hall is yeah, going to be knocked down, rebuilt, but you're all right because they're going to put a stage up and um, the hall players will be fine. There was over 300 people and people were locked out. Uh, then they went, did a presentation of the, of the reasons why it's being developed. And then it's the questions and answers with the visit jury and cheering the meeting, basically. I don't know exactly, but I think we're going to knock it down and build a new one or, or no. something like that. Aren't they going to make a small one and then they're going mm. to build houses? Yes. yes. And, and so it was only a while later, obviously, people have been misinformed, um, that I realised actually, uh, no, almost everything was going apart from a very small church building. Basically, all the questions that we asked weren't answered. And they're still not being answered, even now. There was just a lot of very upset, irate people that feel like they've been left out until the last minute, really, until it's too late, where anything can be done and it's like already been decided, it feels like, without proper consultation with the community, the people that use the hall. Um, yeah, very upsetting. It's like, wait, this, this is like my second home. It makes me sad because I come, I come to church here, come to Sunday school here, do this. Many groups have been affected by the news, from the bowling club and the guides to the hall players, but none of them have been given the chance to do something about it. The, um, the skills that people have, a lot of people have their own companies, builders, joiners, plasterers, between us in our community, there's so many people that would have given their time and their expertise to rebuild. So, and again, that's not been, as far as I'm aware, looked at or discussed. Devastation is the word a lot of people use, those that use it a lot. For the Hall Players, an amateur dramatics group that's performed here since 1961, this could be their last ever pantomime in the hall. I find rather than trying to smear it on, build it up in dabs. Okay, thank you. Yeah, build it up in dabs. Build up in dabs. I don't want to look yeah. stupid. <laughs> I want this to stay because it's a beautiful place to stay. Yeah, and it's like really old. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, Charlotte, it's really old. It's yeah, been here for a long time. It's been the reason a lot of people have met each other. It's been the reason a lot of people still stay together as a family. You know, it's just, just sad. It'd be a shame if we couldn't stay here and maybe upgrade it. To be quite honest. They've been preparing for the pantomime for the last three months, but tonight most of the members will be taking their final bow. I think we might have a sellout tonight. Out. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Yes, right, have a good yeah, one. The prettiest one by far. Have a look in the mirror so, lately. So, what do I say after that then? You don't say anything. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> I am so looking forward to that. Scene. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs>
break a leg every Good evening, week. ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hall Players production of Beauty and the Beast. Now it is time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. because they're just in this kind of local facility. In an ideal world, we'd have a magic wand and we'd pay for it all to be done off and have, and have, the, have the money to then keep it running and sustain it, but we're not in an ideal world and things cost money, don't they? change, mother of invention and capacity to evolve for the future. Nothing ever stays the same, does it? And a lot of it is how you cope with it or how you prepare for it. And you know, there is the old idea. It doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. So I think if we go anywhere else, it's never ever going to be the same as, it, as we've had in here because it's just, you can see it involves everybody, the community. I think if we go somewhere else, it'd be like, like it'll be like doing a pantomime in somebody's front room. It won't feel, it won't feel the same, will it? So what do we do now? Okay, so we, we've done the anger bit, we've done the upset bit. Well, now we need to be quite practical and we need to make sure that we do serve these 300 families to the best of our ability and we move on. Well, we haven't given up the fight at the moment for the Hall players and the potential demolishment of the Hall. Uh, there seem to be some loopholes in the argument which we're going to explore. I don't think it's completely set in stone that we may lose the Hall yet. And I don't, I don't think we've heard the last of the Hall players just yet, so... Since filming in January, the community still hasn't had any honest answers as to when and why the hall is being knocked down. As a result, the community has started taking matters into their own hands. The issue I have with it is that the church resides in a parish and the church has a responsibility to the parishioners. It also has a wider area to look after, which is the community in which the church resides. And in their mission statement, they are looking at the wider community. They are not serving the wider community in forward by closing it down. And I think people, not just me, I think other people are quite sad about that. What most upset and angered everybody was the blatant lies that occurred from the PCC. They told us in a meeting with all the guide leaders that we weren't functioning very well and that our numbers were dropping. I don't think 300 families are dropping. We are a thriving and will continue to thrive guide units. And we couldn't understand where they got the information from. They, they can't possibly be able to make the community better if they fragment it. Because the community only is as good as its weakest person. Carol Buckley has been a member of the Hall Players since the age of 11. 
She has now been chairman of the club for four years. Um, so yes, this is the the room that I teach in, and so those are for the hall players. What else? Are you doing? This is that's Dick Whittington. But the other two were plays I wasn't in for the whole play. <laughs> so, but that's the whole play is Dick Whittington there. So we are hoping that instead of knocking the hall down, that actually we could raise money, apply for grants and save the hall. That is what um, certainly the majority of the hall players and many parishioners and other groups would like to see happen. As a member of the hall players, um, and also a member of the church, um, it does make me doubly determined to, to fight uh, until I know that there is no chance of saving it. Um, because not only have I been go myself to things at the church from the age of six, uh, my daughters have attended many things there and now my grandson is attending things there and I think it would be a very, very sad loss if other families don't have somewhere to go. I'm, I'm quite determined to fight until there's, I know there's no chance. They came together in World War II, they came together in World War I. I think they'll come together after Brexit, whatever happens. So if we can go through World War I, II and Brexit, I think the people who fought will actually reunite. Might be slightly different, but I think that'll be okay. Oh yes, absolutely.